Hey friends, my name's Mia Park. Welcome to Scamp Yoga. I'm the owner of a 13 foot scamp trailer that I'm pulling across the country. And if you sit, especially if you drive for long hours at a time where the weight is uneven on your sitting bones and your sacrum, that low back and your spine is moving in repetitive pattern ways that are uneven, you, like me, might have a sore back, sore hips, tight muscles that are uneven, I understand. So today's short chair yoga practice has to do with relieving low back and hip imbalances from sitting, driving, or pulling a scam. Okay, so the first thing we'd like to do is set up our positioning. I'm sitting in a chair where my feet are flat on the ground, toes and knees facing forward, and I can feel the weight on my sitting bones. So I'm gonna try to make the weight equal on left and right sitting bones. Now, if your feet don't touch the ground, bring the feet up by putting your feet on books or yoga blocks. And if your feet are too low on the ground to where your knees are higher than your hips, sit on a pillow or something taller, okay? And I'm also gonna be using just a regular belt. You could use a towel if you have a yoga strap, great. Or we wanna use something strong enough that you can pull against it with your legs. Okay, so let's start with the eyes either closed or with the soft focus and slightly open. So the real trick is to journey inwards, but we start with making sure our vessel, our bodies are strong and healthy. So place one hand on your tummy, one hand on your chest and breathe smoothly and deeply so that you feel both hands rise and fall with your breath. We want to try to bring that superficial monkey mind that gets distracted with lots of things into the physical reality of your body. So just pay attention as deeply as you can to what's happening in the body. This connects you to a deeper part of yourself. Hands rising and falling as you breathe. And when you feel like your nervous system is relaxed a little bit more and you feel that there's a deeper part of your awareness that's connected to your body and slowly start to open the eyes and release the hands to the legs. Okay. So this is kind of a shorter express chair yoga practice. So if you need to take time to move your neck side to side perhaps or maybe Move your spine into a back bend position and then in a rounding position. Go ahead and take your time to do that. Otherwise, if you're ready to start moving your spine and hips, again, sitting forward at the edge of the chair, alignment, second and third toes in line with the front of the knees and my hip bones are going right back into the socket. So I'm gonna inhale, reach my left arm overhead. I'm gonna fan my ribs out to the side and exhale. I'm gonna gently tone my tummy in and come down. Breathe in, move. So the breath guides the movement. And when you exhale, gently pull the tummy in and relax here. Let's do one more time on each side. So we're starting to move the low back. And as you exhale, breathing and moving at the same time, some imbalances in your back and hip might be more obvious to feel. Like the right side of your body and low back might feel the stretch. Let's do one more actually. Might feel the stretch more because as you're driving, you're mostly using your right leg to hit the brake and the accelerator. Inhale, other side. And if you're driving a manual, you're still using your left leg that side a little bit, but mostly you want to take care of this right side of the body. And I am mirroring you, so we're going to call this the right side. Great. Gentle twisting. Make sure your feet are grounded. Make sure you can feel the weight even on the right and left sitting bones. And inhale, we're going to reach the arms up. And as you exhale, gently tone in the tummy and don't twist too far because we're just warming up and the hips are fixed here. Inhale back to center. Exhale, gently tighten your tummy and twist the other way. When the hips are fixed, you can get a deeper twist, but we wanna go gentle here to warm up. Breathe and move at the same time. Inhale, arms up, tighten your tummy. Go to the other side. Keep your weight equal on both sitting bones. One more time, inhale. Exhale, tighten tummy twist. Keep the weight equal on both sitting bones so you can be diagnostic as to which side is more imbalanced. 
Inhale, back to center. And exhale, we're gonna do like the seated cat pose and we're gonna hold here for a moment. So I'm rounding my tailbone and my hips under towards you and I'm pressing my spine behind me and my chin's down so I can start to feel how the right side of my back needs to stretch a little bit more than the left. And this is when it's okay to have kind of a slouchy posture. I'm pushing my spine behind me and I'm actually dropping the top of my head between my knees. I get to feel where I need more of a stretch, which is of course the right side. So I'm gonna inhale, spine up again, do a little bit of a back bend just to counterbalance. And then exhale one more time. A little bit of a seated forward fold, drop the chin, spine goes behind you, round the tailbone under, and inhale, come on back to center. Okay, so let's start with that right side. You're gonna interlace your fingers under the thigh, bring it up to your chest, or maybe have your hands in between. Now, if you want, you can have your left hand here, hold the chair and squeeze in this way. And if this is difficult for you, have your hands underneath and you can sit back if you need to. Otherwise, sit up tall. Great, we're gonna switch legs. Again, you can hold on to the chair with your left hand as you bring that, uh, pardon me, your right hand as you bring that thigh in. And I'm sitting up tall as much as I can. Hands could go underneath, it doesn't matter. Breathe, breathe deeply. Okay, so now we're gonna start with that right side and we're gonna straighten your leg out. Now I'm not doing a twist. I'm keeping my hips balanced. So the left and right sides have as much weight equally as they can. And I'm gonna put my foot forward. I'm gonna point my toe. I'm gonna to flex it, point and flex. And when I point, my heel's actually coming off the ground and flex. Okay, switch sides. Remember, sitting bones are grounded. They're weighted evenly. I'm gonna point my toe and flex, point and flex. And when I'm pointing, my heel comes off the ground stretching the muscles leading up to the low back. Great. Okay, so now sitting forward. Now I'm gonna have my toes and my knees out to 10 o'clock and two o'clock on the dial. If your nose is at noon, so you've got 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Okay, important that the knees are in the same direction. So I'm gonna take a deep breath in, inhale. And as I exhale, I'm gonna twist to the right and my left hand's gonna come down to the inside of my thigh. I can even press my leg and arm together. And I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna dip my left shoulder in, and I'm gonna twi twist, feels great. Inhale, back to center. Breath eats the movement. Exhale, I'm gonna dip my right hand in, arm and leg pressed against each other. I'm gonna dip that right shoulder in and twist. This feels great. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gently tone the belly in, twist, press left leg and thigh together. As you breathe in, allow the breath to guide the movement, allow the breath to guide the movement. Pressing in here. And this time we're gonna stay. So if this is intense for you, you can just have your hand here and try to dip your shoulder in. Otherwise, if you can, that left hand's gonna reach down, even down to the ground if you can. Inside of the leg is good. You're gonna take your right hand here, inhale, reach up. And when you exhale, press your leg and arm into each other more and twist. So I'm still trying to balance the weight onto my right sitting bone as I bring my left arm and leg together more and create a counter force here to twist against, breathing deeply. Doesn't matter if this top arm is straight or bent, breathe. Great, next time you exhale, you wanna tighten the tummy gently, exhale and unwind. Pause and listen to the body. Listen to your body. All right, right hand comes in. Inhale, pardon me, sit up tall. Exhale, right hand comes in. Pressing leg and arm against each other, twisting here. You can stay here if you want, or inhale, arm comes up. Now, the weight is heavy on that left sitting bone. So I'm creating a force with my arm and leg against each other. Weight is heavy on the left sitting bone, and I'm dipping my right shoulder in to twist. My hips are facing forward as much as I can, but I'm twisting my spine away. Breathe. Deep breaths in. And next time you exhale, tighten your tummy and come on back. 
So let's do a little bit of inhaling, gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades. It's a very gentle back bend. Exhale, we're gonna come back to that seated chair pose. So my hips are rotating under like my tailbone's pointing towards you. My spine's reaching behind me and my chin's going towards my throat. So this is a forward fold to counterbalance the twisting. When you breathe, feel the shoulder blades expand away from each other and towards each other. And you feel that nice forward fold finished. You can come back up to seated positions. Now I'm gonna move my feet back together. So remember, toes and knees face forward, weight equal on the feet and the sitting bones. You're gonna grab your belt. Come back to that position where you're able to bring your thigh in towards your chest. You're gonna take the belt and place it. I'm gonna show you sideways. You're gonna place it around your foot this way, okay? You can hold on to the edge of the chair with your left hand if you need to. And this knee stays bent. We're gonna breathe and move at the same time. Sit up tall if you can. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten out, out your leg, pull your toes back, and you're gonna press against the belt. Don't lock that right knee. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press, press your foot into the strap, pull your toes back, don't lock that knee, sit up tall. Good, one more time. Inhale, bend your knee. Exhale, push forward, keep this knee a tiny bit bent. Okay, now you, you can stay here if this feels good. You're gonna sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, open your leg out towards the right. Keep your toes flexed towards the ceiling. This left knee and toe face forward. I'm gonna hold here. You go as deep as you can. Great. So inhale, wherever you are, you're gonna bend that right knee. Exhale, push your foot into the strap away from you. Sit up tall, toes towards the ceiling. Again, inhale, bend your knee. Remember this leg here on the ground is a stabilizer. Exhale. Tighten your tummy, press your foot into the belt or strap, sit up tall. And one more time, inhale. And exhale, open up here. Okay, take a deep breath in, inhale. When you exhale, tighten your tummy, come on back to center. Okay, you can stay, stay here or inhale. And exhale, bring your leg up as much as you can. So I'm gonna show you sideways, don't do this. This is just to get a little hamstring stretch. You can bend your knee and bring it up as forward as you can. I'll show you sideways, you can see. If you happen to be flexible, you don't need a belt. This is not that important. It's more about stretching these muscles that lead up to that sacrum in the pelvic bowl. So you can keep your leg bent if you need to. And if you want, you can even just come back to here sitting up tall. Okay, breathe. Remember, breathe, 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 breathe. And whenever you feel ready with that, bend your knee, exhale. Put your strap or belt down, close your eyes or soft focus, sit up tall please and listen deeply to your body. Notice the difference between the right side and the left side, the tingling, maybe the feelings of fullness and warmth. Can you let your right side muscles relax? Just listen deeply to what's happening in your physical body. Okay, so when you're ready, you're gonna bend that left knee. Same thing, other side. You're gonna get your belt, your strap. Okay, you can hold on to the chair with your right hand if you'd like. We're looking for a tall spine. Remember the weight is equal on right and left sitting bones. Okay, take a deep breath in. And exhale, you're gonna straighten out that left leg. Keep your weight equal on the sitting bones. Don't bend. Don't lock the knee, pardon me. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten that leg out. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, tone the tummy in, pull the toes back and straighten that leg out. Good. So this leg, this right leg on the ground is going to stay stable. Make sure your knee faces forward. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to sit up tall. Weight equal on the sitting bones. And exhale, I'm going to bring my leg out. Even if your leg comes out to here, that's fine. I happen to be able to do this. It doesn't matter how far you Okay, so here, sitting up tall, take a deep breath in, bend that knee. Exhale, press out against the strap. Keep this right leg facing forward. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten it out to the side. One more time, inhale, bend the knee. And exhale, make sure you're facing forward, leg out to the side. When you straighten out that leg, make sure there's a tiny bend. 
And you're going to take a deep breath in. And then exhale, tighten the tummy, come back to forward. Okay, you can be done, or if you'd like, you can inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, tiny bend in the knee, bring your leg forward. Even if you're really flexible, I'll show you on the side here. I still need to bend my knee to get into that hamstring muscle, which is those muscles are under here. You may or may not need the strap. Again, being very flexible is actually not great because you're more prone to injury, but breathe. You wanna feel the weight equal on both sitting bones as you stretch. Great, and next time you exhale, bring your leg back down. You can release the strap or belt, sit with your toes and knees facing forward. You face forward, weight equal on either sitting bones, eyes closed or soft focus. Listen to the left side of your body. Listen, listen for the tingling fullness and warmth. This is the nervous system. Continue feeling the whole thoracic cavity, move the chest area, move when you breathe. Keep your busy superficial monkey mind into the reality of your body. Okay, when you're ready, eyes open. Last, some of the last exercises. If you're able to, you're gonna bring your knee back to the chest. I'm using right side. Keep these toes flexed. From where the thigh bone meets the socket, the hip socket, you wanna twist from there. Do not twist from the knee. You wanna twist from where your thigh bone meets the socket. I'm gonna to come to the edge of the chair. So this left leg, toes and knees are facing straight. Remember these right toes are pulled back a lot. Got the outside of my right ankle just on top of the thigh. If this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, making sure your alignment's safe here. Take a deep breath in. And I'm gonna exhale. I'm gonna gently, very gently, put some weight with my right hand down on that thigh to press the thigh down. This is stretching for me. This is stretching my thigh. This is stretching my low back, my hips for sure. If you'd like, you can stay here. Keep these toes flexed to protect the knee. Otherwise, you can inhale, little back bend, squeeze the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. Exhale, drop your chin round your back. Inhale. Exhale. I don't only do this next one if you can. If you're going to inhale, you can exaggerate that. And exhale, round your tailbone and come forward. So to any degree, you can do a forward fold over this thigh. I'm using this right hand to gently press down on the thigh keeping the weight heavy on my left sitting bone, chin down, rounding my shoulders. And even if you're right here sitting up like this, that's fine too. You can even just still be sitting there. So when you inhale, you're gonna slowly roll up, keep these toes flexed, and you're gonna come back to a seated position, take a moment for reflection. Listen deeply to your body. All right, other side. Toes flex, you can hug your knee in. Remember, you're gonna turn your left side out with that hip bone and the socket in mind. So you're really moving from this area here. So your right toes are facing forward, your knee faces forward. The outside of my left ankle is on the thigh and my toes are pulled back. If this is enough, you can stay here. If this hurts the knee, please stop. Otherwise, you can keep your hand on your thigh and gently press that down if you'd like. This is all optional. Keep the weight equal on the sitting bones here. Okay. If you'd like to move on, when you inhale, spread the collarbones, little back bend. When you exhale, you can round back. Now, keep going. Move with your breath. The breath guides the movement. I'm going to show you deeper progressions. Again, do what feels best for you. When you exhale, round your sitting bone on your fold form. Okay, we're gonna do one more, we're gonna hold. Breathe in as you move, let the breath guide the posture. So I happen to be able to do this. I can fold right over my leg. My toes are bent to keep the knee protected. I'm pressing down with this left hand and breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe.
Okay, when you feel ready, you're gonna inhale here. And when you exhale, you're gonna slowly sit up on an exhalation. Keep these left toes bent here. Great. And come on back to a symmetrical posture. Pause for reflection. Okay, we're gonna inhale, sit up tall, spine tall, top of the head to the ceiling, top of the head. And exhale, we're gonna do a forward fold over the legs. If your forward fold is here and it looks like this, like we did in the beginning, round your tailbone under so that your sacrum's pointing behind you. Press your spine away from you between the shoulder blades and drop your chin. This is great. Otherwise, on an exhalation, maybe you can fold forward. We end our practices with forward folds to neutralize the sacrum and spine and also to calm down the nervous system. So allow this to be a soft pose in your body. Use your breath to help you calm down the nervous system. So when you exhale, mind tells the brain and the body to sleep. You can stay there as long as you want. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can slowly, slowly start to sit up. Eyes can stay closed or softly focused for seated meditation. If you were using ujjayi or yoga breath, you can release that. Feel the weight equal on the sitting bones. Feel the weight equal on the sitting bones. Feel the weight on the feet. We'll do a body scan, starting with the top of the head. Just notice how the top of the head feels. If your mind starts to scatter and go over the place, just follow my words and deeply pay attention to you in the physical body. Feel the hair coming out of the follicles. Feel the top of the head, the forehead. Feel the entire head. Feel the eyebrows, the eyelids, the temples, the back of the head. Feel a sense of fullness and warmth. It's almost like a warm, gooey liquid being released from the inside out of the head as it comes out through the nose, the cheeks, the temples, the ears. The jawline from the nose to the chin around the mouth. The whole ears, the back of the head, the sides of the head feels full and warm where the head meets the neck the neck, where the neck meets the body, and the shoulders, the chest, the upper back, the armpits, feeling the upper arms, the elbows, the lower arms, the wrists, the hands and the fingers, feeling the chest and the shoulders, feeling both hands and arms, as if this warm, viscous liquid is being spread from the inside out and also as if you're being covered in it from the outside in. Going back to the chest and everything in it, armpit to armpit, collarbones to the upper shoulders, working its way down, the side of the ribs to the breastbone, to the middle back, feel the waist, feel around the stomach, through the entire body, feel the waist again, feel the lower belly, the low back, both hips on the outside and the low belly, sacrum going around the back, the pelvic floor, everything on the inside, the organs, the glands, all the tissues, like this fullness and warmth feeling. It starts to come across the hips, the upper legs and all the muscles and bones in there. The knees, calves and shins, all the way down to the ankles. Feel again in the feet, ankles, the feet, tops of the shins. Feeling the bottoms of the feet, feeling the toes, bringing your deep awareness, this miraculous 
body of ours and these amazing feet that if you are walking on your feet, how much weight is being born, being carried by these feet, this entire body with all these deep intelligence behind all of the mechanisms of our organism, heart beating, digesting food, creating red blood cells. There's many, many deep things that are happening in the body that we're not even aware of. So connecting deeply to those parts of your body that are you and having an intention to connect very deeply to the deeper body processes and where they're coming from. You can stay here as long as you'd like. You can slowly start to open the eyes. And if you were able to reach a place of calmness in the physical, the emotional and mental bodies, staying in that place, notice how your back and hips feel. They feel more relaxed with that sensation of tingling and fullness. Keep your mind in that deeper place connected to those realities of your physical body now. And try to stay in that place that you are now as you begin to waken up and go forward into the world. Thanks for watching another short video from the road. I'm here in beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. You can consider donating to uh, me for my yoga classes or becoming a patron on my Patreon page. And that information is below. Thanks everybody, be well.